Alright, welcome back guys. Um, uh, this is where we left it last time. Um, those sweet verbs are on the outside here. Um, what we're going to do now is create little slats that come through and up. Um, it's very easy to do. Um, let's turn on the this body here we've got turned off. Um, that's a spare copy we made. We'll turn off the sweep nerb so we can see what we're doing. So let's turn those off. And let's get started. What we're going to do is select all those polygons here on this body. So select all. And we're just going to extrude that back. Um, size isn't really important. Um, like so. And now what we're going to do is grab our knife tool. Um, knife. There he is. Um, I think we want the YZ plane. No, um, X, Y plane, um, that way there, what we're wanting to do is cut across, um, like so, um, that distance here isn't really important, that determines how big your slats are, um, you don't want it way back here, otherwise it'll look a bit funny, just somewhere in the front half. Um, from here what we're going to do is cut through here some more, so we'll just grab the knife tool again, um, structure knife, um, plane again, and it should be through the X or Z, um, unless your model's around a real silly way, and we sort of go about halfway in between. Um, the slats weren't perfectly even, that one there was a bit low. Coming through, so we can just sort of freehand it a bit here. Like that, roughly halfway between each of the existing lines there. Um, to give us th that there, what we're going to do now is create the slats. Uh, we use a create polygon tool for that, so structure. Uh, create polygon. And what we're going to do is create a polygon from one of the front points there, coming up and across. Undo that, I missed the point I wanted. From there to there. And if you spin around, you can see from there, which is the points we made on our vertical cut, through to there, and we'll just close that off, and we'll just continue this all the way down. Ah, that's none too difficult. A couple of quick clicks. Um, I can't remember what the pause button is. Um, it's been a while since I've used this software. Um, so I won't pause it and get to watch me click away like this. Um, don't really have any entertaining stories to tell while I'm doing it. Um, you're probably trying to concentrate as I am, so I'll just shut up for a second. Radio, so there we are, we've got all our slats in place. Um, I've actually had the undone one and should have had another cut through there at the bottom, which I haven't done. Um, doesn't really matter. Um, what we're going to want to do is select all the polygons that we've just created. Um, actually, we'll just leave this bottom one at the moment. Um, you'll notice the normals are all facing downwards instead of up. That's alright. Uh, what we're going to do is extrude that. So we'll extrude in a negative direction to bring it up just a little. Um, it's just adding some depth to these little slats here. Uh, it's not particularly important if you can't be bothered. Um, but it does look a bit nicer in the end. Um, just go through and select all these polygons we've just created here. And grab our extrude tool. And we should extrude down a little like that. Um, you don't want to go the other way otherwise we'll be poking through the top here. And could look a little ugly. Um, once we got that there, that's us pretty much done. Um, we can turn on our sweep nerves. And see, there we are. There's our vents with our slats in. Um, I'll go through and fix up this bottom one here. I've ruined at some other stage. Um, right now, we can turn on our R2 model. 
Um, we'll go back to the body on here. And we can delete those polygons there that we've selected. Oops. Like so. And there you can see we've got our slats in place. Just like that. Um, I've just remembered that. If you look at the reference image, that there has actually got a panel across the sides of either of those. Um, so let's go back there and do that, um, which means we want to leave in those polygons there and there, so we'll delete um, that one, 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 for our selection. Now if we have a look, I've done that wrong again. Um, on the body here, we want to edit, undo, we just want to delete those polygons there. Um, let's have a look, see what we've got. That's better. Um, so just make sure, deselect those polygons there and delete those from the original body we had. Um, so if we zoom out and take a look and see how we're looking. I'll get this right yet. Um, yeah, you can see there's most of our R2 shape done. Um, there are a couple of detail bits in here. Uh, if we've got that image, these things here which poke out, um, take care of that probably towards the end, um, but not very hard to do. Um, so, next tutorial I suppose we'll be on to doing this base here. I'm just going to fix that up. Um, if you're happy with yours being um, rounded all the way like that, you can ignore it. Um, just putting some little panels in there, but I'm going to actually flatten off the sides uh, much more the way you should be. Um, then it's on to the arms and we're away. Um, catch you guys next time.